Hey, good evening. It's Murray back with another video. It's 11.31 p.m. It is uh, Tuesday evening. And I, um, July 2nd. I think it's, I don't know if I said that or not. I'm tired. But anyway, not tired enough to fall asleep. Today, I'm not really in a bad mood. I was very tired when I got home. So I took a nap and it felt really nice, you know, because I was listening to some really beautiful music and I felt you know, relaxed, you know, and I, I had a really nice nap, and then I woke up, and I, I felt good, you know, I mean, like, not great to where I was, like, bouncing up and down, but good enough, you know, to concentrate, you know, instead of, like, dwelling, now, don't get me wrong, I didn't completely forget about the gang stalking madness, but, um, I guess, you know, right now, I'm looking at the humorous side of a lot of it, and like I mentioned yesterday about the, um, <laughs> The puppet show. I, you know, I'm looking forward. I, I can't get them right now because, you know, that's kind of an extravagant thing and I can't really afford it right now because I've been gang stalked. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it always, it always comes back to that. But, um, you know, I was thinking about puppets so I could, like, make some puppets or something because, you know, I, I got free time in my hands. You know, why not? You know, and I think what's funny about it is, like I said, these people were extremely comical. But I did do a lot of deep thinking about, you know, how dysfunctional, you know, group mentality is, which I've mentioned before, but, you know, when I really start thinking about the different elements in it and the self-denial on these people's part, um, the fact that they thought that this was a righteous or a worthy cause to attack an innocent person, given the, 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 the issues and the circumstances surrounding it, I, I'm just like, wow, how weak-minded people are, you know? Um, and, and then, of course, you know, I think I've mentioned, well, I have mentioned it. I mean, I've, a lot of this stuff is just repeat, but I'm putting different spins on it because I've given, I've had all this time to, like, rethink things and deep it, think it deeply and, and thoroughly. And, and um, when I think of, you know... <laughs> the religious aspect of it like you know the 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 christianity um their version of christianity or what they want christianity to be um it's always anger it angers me because um there's a lot of evil that gets done in the name of religion i mean Chris, this fake christianity stuff isn't the only religion that's responsible for bloodshed and stuff but i would say christians do take um take would take that award you know because a lot of them and i'm not saying there are, aren't any sincere christians the kind of people who um are so moved with compassion that they do um modify their personalities and they conform themselves naturally because they are so in alignment with what the will of God is, you know, um, they change their lives and lead decent lives, but that's a very small, select few of people who really take Christianity or their religion seriously, you know, and you know, the Bible talks about, you know, um, broad and spacious is the road leading to destruction and straight and narrow is the path leading to righteousness and everlasting life. And um, when I think of that, I think people like who have this sort of mentality, this gang stalking stuff, is is a great example. When you think of being a, somebody being able to blacklist you or manipulate your employment in all the areas of of the planet, having the power to do that, um, it, it's um, it's because especially in the name of religion, it's because most people really aren't as God-fearing, respecting, and, and loyal to um, any sort of life principle or any sort of um, a code of conduct, you know? I think people use the excuse of, you know, um, the faith, the, the faith-based issue more than having any moral issues like they see you know like you know the bible talks about um it's not necessarily good deeds that get people into the kingdom of heaven it's more of a matter of faith so people take this in a way where 
they feel as though they can do whatever they want they don't have to you know model their lives after jesus they could be all kinds of perverse violent things if they want to during their their life or as they're here on earth but just because they believe that there is an almighty god that that's the, they 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 seem to think that this is enough to be a follower of god and they are wrong they are so wrong um you know um people distort things okay yes i mean everybody is a sinner okay but there are some people who commit deliberate sins and those are the differences between you know um uh why certain things are forgivable and why certain things aren't okay i mentioned this yesterday so i'm not going to go into it again but um when it comes to spiritual things you know things that relate to god um these things are um some 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 sins there's like one sin in the bible that talks about as being unforgiving but um it's very similar like some people when when you continuously say you're sorry over and over again and you continue to do that that just just demonstrates that your heart is wicked like you don't really have um uh any god in you it's just you are just a a person who uses religion as a um as a tool to gain things you know which there was similar religious groups and in in the um in the bible like with the with the pharisees and the sadducees or whatever in the bible um these kind of fake groups have always existed okay um and they will manifest in uh groups that are too large and are misguided you know and um this is you know i i i had mentioned before in one of my videos my early videos okay i think in 2015 2016 that this this was a cult and i described why because not everybody see and when, when i don't understand about this whole get maria to go to church and be you know which church because all these perps that were involved okay this this is why this doesn't make any sense all the perps that were involved belonged to different religions okay so the only thing that was really binding them together was the hatred for me like for example i know that there was pentecostals that were involved in this i know if the Laos family was involved which i know that they were i think they were one of the driving perps in this they are lutherans okay there was catholic people who were involved mormons all these different religions okay that were involved in it so the the you can tell that it wasn't necessarily to have me converted to something specific it was only to basically harass and have some sort of control and it was you know basically um group mentality spun out of control you know <laughs> so um you know i i don't want to deal with people who like to talk and bring up religion um because there's a certain way that people behave that i can tell that it's bullshit you know but anyway back to the um puppet show i was going to um you know of course i'm going to have a puppet that represents me i want puppets that look like the people that i dealt with you know and um i i want puppets okay <laughs> i do i want them um, because this this is something that really kind of um, I don't know it's exciting and I know some people will say you know you're artistic and I also want to talk on that too you know I think that um, people with intellectual intellectual abilities and who have an artistic flair <coughs> you know it's like in this world in this stupid I don't know where these groups of people the perps or whatever they want to categorize and label you as just one thing you know whereas a person who is considered to be a fulfilled person okay um and i'm not saying i'm fulfilled because there's a lot of things that i feel as though i lack okay but <clears throat> somebody who um has not been trained in this sort of what do you call it um or i should say indoctrinated into this way of thinking which is distorted okay 
<clears throat> is um it's wrong you know because there's a lot of people who for example who are analytical but yet they might be musicians who are who, who which is an art right like for example you might have a, a musician who is very who writes very thought-provoking lyrics okay things that are really um affecting lives or who's able to um express you know emotion and the like, like storytelling songs okay for example and there's different kinds throughout the world different cultures have storytelling songs but songs that are just really like deeply that, that deeply move you because there's um it takes a lot of deep thinking not just how to put the le the words together and the music and all that but it takes a lot of knowledge and understanding and being able to see things that other people can't see and, and then having the ability to convert that using your artistic skill to convert these ideas and these beliefs or whatever into a song you know <laughs> that's impressive okay but it takes certain people to be able to do that now not everybody has some people are like they're one dimensional and I, 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 and I can see that this is common among people who've been indoctrinated with this sort of idea. Ideally, we should have possess all of those traits. You know, some are more dominant than the others. Like, I think I'm more of an intellectual person than I am somebody who is artistic. Obviously, my art is very basic, okay? It's bright and colorful to cheer me up, okay? Yeah, I, I do like certain hobbies that relate to arts, like, you know, painting I'm a shitty painter god knows I'm a shitty painter I do it once again for adding color to cheer me up you know um I'm not artistic okay um I appreciate arts and that's one of the things like you know for example I mentioned the school system the school system is supposed to you know train you or used to anyway I mean the school system is a fucking joke now but it's basically you know um, suppose, you know, you're supposed to be able to learn life skills, okay? Um, basic, you know, the reading, writing, arithmetic, um, some levels are higher than others. Um, but you're also supposed to be able to branch out and find different interests, you know, which is one of the reasons why, you know, things like art are, um, encouraged, or at least they used to be. So it's a, it's about becoming a cultivated person, which brings me back to the subject <laughs> of um, you know people who who talk excessively about their college education. Now I do appreciate the fact that you know it takes time and effort, okay, but I don't think that it produces anything of any quality, not really, okay. Um, but the issue is is that you know people originally didn't go to college just for a particular job. That was not the purpose of college. College was not only to, uh, it was about creating a person who was, um, who obtained knowledge, which at one time, knowledge used to be looked upon just as highly as wealth. It was like, it was, it was, of course, a, a, a form of prestige, like if you could go to like this huge, you know, great university or something, but it was more of a status symbol than it was anything else, but it did put people up um did put people apart because for example it made people more cultivated more more um cultured more you know civilized and understanding certain things that commoners couldn't understand you know and so there was a difference between you know somebody who was a highly intellectual person who had the no who had knowledge of knowing you know the difference between right and wrong not just like in moral standards but just like you know being under understanding of how the weather works being a, understanding how life forms work how do we um understanding you know um the way that the world operates through science and um observation and, and so on etc but like you know now this is not what it's become it's become this thing that people get convinced that they have to do they go through the grow through it they go through the emotions and i don't see where these people are any more cultivated than somebody who isn't what they call quote unquote educated or in my mind indoctrinated because 
I think oftentimes these sort of institutions really don't produce anything substantial. Now, there are some people who are exceptional, you know, like I've seen some very intelligent people, but I don't think intelligence, certain forms, intelligence is different than knowledge. Knowledge is receiving information. Okay, now you understand, you receive the information, you receive the knowledge, but what are you able to create as an output of that knowledge, you know? And there's a lot of people who've learned certain things, like in science or whatever, and then they're not able to apply it once they get out in, in the world. So of what value is it, you know? So I don't, I was thinking, you know, I've had conversations with this particular person one time about, you know, can people learn, um, critical thinking. I don't believe that people can learn critical thinking. I know they teach it. I know they teach critical thinking, okay? But see, w when they, these things that people, um, <clears throat> like, <laughs> people um, go to school for, like, you know, are, they are trying to aspire to be what a lot of these great men of renown um, were, which many of them, I believe, uh, Plato, I don't believe, Plato had formalized education. I don't believe he did. Um, and there was a few other ones who didn't. But they were trying to emulate these people who, um, who were naturally gifted. That's why they do it. So that's why, you know, they think that they can obtain what these people who were born with these special traits can. So they try to learn these different things. And some of it is just useless to them. Okay. So anyway. Um, so I'm not impressed with like worldly trappings or what people think, or I don't care what other people could think because I can observe and see things for myself and it's obvious. Okay. And if anybody has two eyes and a brain, you know, they themselves. Okay. <laughs> I know it's hard to find people with brains, but I do believe that people do have more intellectual abilities that they're not tapping into. And oftentimes they don't because they're so distracted by this whole, whether it be group mentality, media, I hate to say it, but you know, the education system is just full, chock full of indoctrinating and dumbing people down. Um, bullshit, you know, so they don't have the time to, you know, cultivate their own interests and find out who they truly are and what their true calling is. Because there's so much information out there that's kind of taking people off their personal path and it's unfortunate you know um you know in my little world that i would create if i had the ability to create a world um that's what it would be it would exist that would exist people who really gave a shit you know but and not posers you know people who um who want to pretend that they're somebody but in reality aren't like you know hey i i'm a part of this christian network and i have all this power and control and we use domination and force and all kinds of horrid things to get the job done um that's not something i'm ever gonna respect you know? <laughs> but anyway yeah back to that puppet show so anyway the puppet show would be a great idea you know and i would probably be laughing the entire time as I'm playing with these puppets, making, you know, making comments. And then what I also want to do in this, like, little puppet show, as I was thinking, I kept thinking, you know, I want to, like, show what was going on behind the scenes. Like, oh, obviously, I wasn't there to see what was going on behind the scenes. Like, for example, when Mary Landucci was talking to other people at work and, and complaining and bitching, and probably sending emails and text messages and reporting things that they she thought I was doing or whatever I was doing. If I sneezed, it would be reported because this is how petty gang stalkers are, okay? And I wanted to kind of like create these scenarios because, you know, oftentimes when you're, you're a target, people are smiling in your face or in your face or smiling like, oh, hi, 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 how are you? Blah, 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 blah. You know, like all sweet and almost so sweet that it's almost like, you know, uh, it's disgusting. And then you realize you, I mean, I've obviously knew something was up, but, um, but then they have this completely different, you know, uh, behavior when they're not around you. So it's like this two-faced type thing that 
I find kind of funny. I actually, you know, used to play with my stuffed animals. <laughs> yeah, this is a few years ago, and I would act it out, right? And like, you know, like I would just pretend that this particular frog was doing all this like bullshit talking shit behind your back. But then, like, when you're talking to the frog, it's like, oh hey, best friend, I love you, blah blah blah. You know. Anyway, it was kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, I am creative that way because I have a sense of humor. You know, I have a sense of humor, and it is quirky. But you know, I like that about me. Uh, I think when you're um, you're dealing with perps, perps, you know, anything that really makes you a genuine person, who you are, they can't stand it because it's foreign to them. They don't know what it means to be a genuine person. All they know is how to mimic everybody else and be fucking miserable. So they want to come and attack you. You know what I mean? Out of the blue, too. Out of the fucking goddamn blue. People that were attacking me, like, you know, Stephen's mom and shit. I, I don't know this woman. You know, I had nothing to do with any of this shit. But, you know, it's like, she's going to conjuring up shit. And, I mean, I wonder what the Facebook conversation was, okay? For these people to blow up in that manner, okay? After only sending one letter to this guy, okay? One letter. Okay? Never heard of nothing. No, nothing. Didn't even think about this person, okay? And meanwhile, I'm going through all this bullshit and this terrorism, and that's exactly what the fuck it is. It's terrorism. Going through all this terrorism over nothing, you know? But anyway, yeah, I do want to act out, you know, um, me sending the email and then wondering what the fuck went on behind the scenes, you know? But I don't have the ability. Like, some people can do really good camera work, and I don't have the equipment to make, you know, like, the kind of videos that I want to. So it's going to be kind of shitty, okay? I, I can already tell you right now because I have a cell phone, I have my laptop, and I have another little tiny phone here. But the thing is, is that I used to have a digital camera, which would have done a decent job because, you know, you were able to stop it at certain times, stop it, and put it back together, I mean, stop, start and stop at certain times, and whereas it would play back, it would be just one full video. So kind of edit it itself as you went along. So this is going to be kind of one of those cheesy videos, okay? But this is how I'm visualizing it. But yeah, I want to, you know, act out what was probably going on. Like, okay, his mom must have saw that email. She must have freaked out. And probably started forwarding that to everybody. People were talking, you know. And then uh, just the whole thing, how I think it turned out. Whatever it is, okay, I want to talk about their evil side. What fucking possessed people to do the goddamn shit that they do, okay? I find this sort of stuff extremely interesting. I, I find human behavior very interesting. And, you know, um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that I have a lot of different skills, you know. And, unfortunately, um, although I think I know more people about human behavior, probably more than a psychologist does, okay, but I don't have the credentials to be a psychologist. But I do understand people. I do. I understand them very well, okay? Um, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to, um, when I first mentioned my issue, what I wanted to do was, um, which I already created it, it's basically a better form of managing people. And, um, but the thing is, is that I wanted to meet a person who, un who, who was a practicing psychologist um, who, so that I could collaborate with this particular person because what I see that goes on in the workplace could be significantly reduced, cannot be eliminated entirely, but it could be reduced, okay? Because really the issue comes from management. The manage most managers, they like to they stir this shit up, they do it. Some people do it per on purpose, and some people just have loose lips, and they don't use discernment as, as to who they are communicating with, okay? And they talk down, which is a, a term that I made up, um, because when I say talk down, if you're a manager or somebody who's in a particular position, you should never talk down to subordinates. And w when I say down, I mean basically you're supposed to be the person who's in charge, and then you're divulging certain information whether that be personal company information or you are gossiping about somebody else. And what this does is it, of course, it fires off harassment, right? 
because you're you're the leader and you are whether you're doing it on purpose or you're doing it inadvertently you are creating the nightmare okay but it's not just that it's about you know how to handle certain employees how to you know just the whole fucking thing right and the only thing that I would want this person to do is basically you know basically kind of confirm it but it would have to be confirmed because just because I'm somebody who's observed part people all my life and I'm a psychic <laughs> psychic I'm psychic I don't like to say a psychic but I'm psychic I have psychic abilities um, people still feel co more comfortable in a lot of ways when it comes to um, those sort of issues when they find somebody who but there she's not writing the material she didn't write the material that's my material that I created but still, it's just that would be an added thing to where it would lend credibility to what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway. So, um, but it, the whole issue is, is the sad part is that people don't really care about the platform that they're setting in the workplace. And that's the problem. The problem is that, you know. And so what I've also learned, not only are the majority of Christians, in my opinion, and, you know, I can't really say, but I'm pretty sure based off what that good book says that they're supposed to be following, they don't let, they don't measure up. There's a lot of fucked up people who are just going to, they really do deserve to fucking get whatever they do has come into them. But anyway, um, that's an eye opener. And it's also an eye opener for me to know that, you know, um, that people like to play these sort of games and they don't take their work seriously and they don't care and they get by on it you know and it's that kind of corruption that really puts a damper on a lot of people who care about stuff like that but anyway so th those are my thoughts i'm in a pretty good mood right now i don't know what tomorrow will bring i might wake up tomorrow and whatever but i'm in a pretty good mood you know um i can't say that i could do a bunch of stuff but you know i'm surprise when I do pick up anything and do something and complete it for the day I'm I'm always very happy with myself because this this have been this has been the most mentally dis, you know um disabling depressing um thing that could happen to a person you know and um but I still have my sense of humor and yeah it's quirky and no I'm not changing that either you know um I think the world is is wrong now I, I'm not saying I'm arrogant and that I know everything because there's still a lot of things in this world that I don't know you know but um I think that I um I think that <laughs> I think that I have been benefited tremendously from being kind of a um kind of a loner now I had what I call frenemies and I had playmates when I was growing up but you know um even in a crowd I always felt kind of alone you know and I used to think gosh you know it, I I don't really feel like I fit in anywhere and I was aware of that you know but at the same time you know when I was when I was growing up I I just felt like my god you know why am I so weird I couldn't figure it out okay um obviously I knew that I had psychic abilities and I thought differently than other people but I'm glad that I didn't grow up to be like these people <laughs> I'm glad I'm very glad that I didn't you know I think where these people were influenced by each other and other outside sources I was able to be more objective about certain things so I didn't turn out to be bad <laughs> I didn't turn out to be you know, I made mistakes, of course I did, you know, but I've also learned to be able to correct them. And oftentimes when you're in a group mentality or a group setting, I'm sorry, and you're influenced by other people within that group, you don't always get the support that and oftentimes when you try to make goals for yourself, these pe people will constantly drag you back down. So I by having that distance, I was always able to self-correct, whereas other people try to self-correct but they can't because there's a lot of peer pressure so i only give a fuck about myself okay <laughs> that's the bare bottom line okay and it's like people have to deserve my love they have to deserve shit and i'm not going to waste my 
feelings or my concerns or anything on people who aren't worth it to me. I'm just not, you know? And I don't care how much fucking group mentality, how much pressure you put on, I wouldn't fucking want to be anything like these people. I just wouldn't. So anyway, I don't know what time it is right now. Oh, holy shit, it's five, it's a minute after 12. I kept saying I was gonna get to bed. I laid in bed for a little bit. I was playing my little game, you know, and then I was like, you know, I think I'll get up and look at my little embroidery work that I'm doing so I want to get more ideas, you know. I, I'm, I'm not rushing through this art project. I really want to take my time and figure out what needs. No, it's not anything great, okay? But, you know, it was like the first time I actually did embroidered flowers and I was kind of excited about it. Now, mind you, I did throw in some lar yarn loom um, flowers too because I was kind of getting tired of the embroidery. I got to fill all this space. I'm like, God damn, this is like a lot, right? So it was just easier for me to wind up some flowers and stick them on there. But I did do some embroidery work and I was very proud of it. And so I'm, um, you know, I'm kind of taking my time and thinking, okay, well, I want to add this and I'm going to add that and looking around my house, what kind of fabric straps do I have? So I'm, I'm putting this together a little bit and taking my time and enjoying it too. So anyway, um, but I, I had a good evening. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful night and I will see you in my next video. Bye.